Welcome back to Defense Team News. I'm Lieutenant Phil Henry. And I'm Shelley Van Hoof. Here are the headlines at Defense. The world's largest maritime exercise, Exercise RIM of the Pacific, or RIMPAC 2018, concluded this month following an intensive multi-week program conducted in and around Hawaii and Southern California. More than 1,000 Canadian soldiers, sailors, airwomen, and airmen participated in the exercise alongside approximately 25,000 military personnel from 24 other nations. Underscoring the RIMPAC theme of capable adaptive partners, the CAF contingent demonstrated excellence in complex land, sea, and air operations while integrating with allied forces. An event honoring the life of Company Sergeant Major Francis Pegamagabo recently took place at the National Art Gallery in Ottawa. As the most decorated Indigenous soldier of the First World War, he was an expert sniper and later became an active voice in the Indigenous rights movement in Canada. At the event, we spoke to Dr. Brian McInnes, Sergeant Major Pegamagabo's great-grandson, to learn more. This particular production of Sounding Thunder the Song of Francis Pegamagabo is a musical, what I would describe as a musical collaboration, bringing together a lot of different types and styles of music from classical orchestral symphony-like playing to traditional Anishinaabe or First Nations singing with storytelling tradition, with digital narrative pieces, uh, with um, I think just this marvelous storyline crafted by Armand Rousseau that tells us some of the highlights of the military work and the post-war experience of Francis Pegamagabo. Before we go, Defence Research and Development Canada Toronto is looking for Canadian Armed Forces volunteers between the ages of 25 and 35 to participate in a heat tolerance study. The study will examine the heat tolerance of CAF members returning to the field after suffering a heat-related injury or illness. If you're interested in participating, visit the related links for more information. That's it for us. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. For Defense Team News.